This is the future. Evolution. This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to replace the headlight globe of the NC700. Yeah. What the f This manual says I have to strip the ball bike? Oh, come on! Let's get into it. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. We start off right at the front, above the front wheel. There's a plate underneath that you have to remove and already I found the two clips is missing. The plan is now to go and buy extra clips and once I replace this little cover I'm going to put the two clips back and put a little soft tapping screw in there. Since I've never done this before I'm going to consult the manual a lot. So we're going to start by removing the air ducts and trust me guys I've searched the whole YouTube I couldn't find a video on how to remove the headlight unit of an NC700 so to remove the air ducts you open up your cabule and you remove the following screws clearly this has been removed before because the clips broke off and most of the clips that I found was glued together which means this clips has broken before and somebody tried to fix it Next up is the shroud. Okay, you are going to have to remove those two bolts so that you can remove the seat so that you can get access to the shroud. Next up, remove those three little clips and then you go and re uh, remove the following bolts. That one. I think there was one in front and that one is for later uh, that one and that one also remove the following two bolts or just anything that's holding the plastic covers together that's what I did next up let's remove the windscreen now that we have removed this whole rear panel we're going to continue to remove the front panel which includes disconnecting the indicator and the rest of the assembly. And now that I have removed the covers you can finally get to the headlight mounting bolts. <coughs> and the reason why I'm removing the headlight unit as you guys can see there's a crack. After the last time I dropped it by accident I cracked the headlight unit causing it to build so much moisture that it gets wet causing the headlight lobes to blow and that's why I'm removing this headlight unit so that we can repair it. And also now that I've stripped the whole right hand side of the bike I have to strip the complete left side as well. With all the panels stripped left and right we can finally proceed by removing the four bolts that's holding the headlight assembly. You also have to remove your cluster. And there you guys can see the damage to the headlight. And this is not just to remove the headlight unit guys. You're going to do the same strip when you want to just replace the globes. Because the globes are touching against the fork. There's no way you can remove the globes without removing the headlight unit. So this strip is going to happen every time. So now we have to remove the whole headlight unit further and then we can try and repair the damage. Now we are going to remove the following two bolts.
and now at least you can move the whole headlight unit forward and you can remove the headlight lobe okay but i must say i think if your hands are small enough and your fingers are nimble enough you should be able to reach the globe from the bottom and maybe release the pin and get the, the globe out but since i had to remove the entire unit this was the quickest way for me and there you have the whole globe broken so time to get a new globe but first we need to fix the unit look at all the water lying at the bottom of the glass and that's that for this video so if you want to know how i fix the light stay tuned the next incoming video will be repairing the actual unit and then showing you what i did to fix it so if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up remember to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of the next upload which will be repairing it until next time guys whatever you do keep it safe cheers